And um, I figured I shared this experience with you because it is a big purchase, so why not get a first glance or uh, honest review from someone who already made the expense rather than going out there and buying it yourself without really knowing the pros and cons. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the strings. So the first thing you guys are gonna notice is it is a big box. You're gonna need strength if you live on like the top floor like I do. And if you ain't got an elevator, it's it's gonna require some muscles. So if this is if you're a girl, get your boyfriend to help you. On Amazon, this scooter has been listed to be like 33 pounds. I'm pretty sure with the box or inside the box and everything, it's a little bit more. So maybe it's not too heavy. Maybe maybe you, you could do it. But if not, like I said, um, it's nice to have a, a friend to help you out. So first thing I've noticed about this thing is like most electronics or packages out there. It's uh it's, it's packed really nice. I'm sorry you can't see it. I mean, you can actually. It's packed really nice. And it, first thing I see is that it comes with a nice little bag right here. So I guess you can travel or you can store it, travel with it when the battery dies. Um, the one thing that they caught my eye about this specific model is that it had a 40 mile range. And right now, where I live, or where I stay at, that means I'll be able to go to Gary, Indiana and back, no problem, and still have about 10, 15 miles left over. Like, I didn't really care about the speed. I mean, I do, but for my first scooter at uh, 15 miles per hour, that's fine. You know, let me get the hang of things first and then I'll move up speed. But distance wise, I should be okay. So let me go ahead and pick up the scooter, or attempt to, like I said, it is heavy. And, um, wow. I'm gonna do this. Hope that didn't match my video. It's really nice, it's sealed. This is almost similar to a previous model scooter I've purchased. I ended up returning it because the item was not as described. It said I'd get like 12, 15 miles. I ended up getting eight and a half. I ended up spending money on getting an Uber back home. And that same, same day, uh, through a fault of my own, I, ended up, I also ended up breaking that scooter. So, I mean, I talked to the manufacturer and I was given options. I just I ended up returning to the store. Uh, more on that later. Um, now, something I don't really understand with electronics is they always tell you, right? They always tell you you gotta you you gotta charge it before use. And I'm in the electronic business, but I still don't know the the uh, the answer to my question, which is. Why don't they just charge it before giving it to you? If you know the answer, or if you can help me answer that question, a comment in the description would help and be appreciated. But I, I really don't understand, like just charge it, you know? Just charge it before giving it to me. It saved me a lot of time and would enhance, enhance the experience. So, as you can tell, uh, it's a really nice looking scooter. Assembly, some assembly will be required. So I'll go ahead and uh, probably pause the video and start it over once I'm ready. But it, so far it looks really nice. It looks like tire pressure. But there's been enough air in the tire. It's been enough air in the tire for, for it to start running the second I get this charge. And um, just by looking at this, I'm sure you can tell it's got it. It's it looks really nice. It's a nice quality item. Like I said, it's a little heavy, um, but you know that's due due to, due to the power or due to the battery, I should say. Forty mile range. I'm not complaining. 
Um, I want that distance, especially with the circumstances I'm in right now. Um, this is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and return once it's fully assembled. Okay, here we go. This is a scooter fully assembled. And I'm just gonna show you a 360 degree view just so you can really better fully appreciate the details built into the scooter and how solid it looks. The brakes, the disc brakes, really nice looking. Um, as you saw there as well, the tires, they didn't manage to put some tire shine prior to shipping in, which, you know, it looks really, it looks really nice. It's, it's, it's really the small stuff, including, um, the phone case or the phone holder they provided. Truthfully, I was going to need one and I was thinking about buying one. Um, they saved me that money, you know, I don't know. They saved me the trouble and the money, so that was really nice. Obviously, the accelerations right here. Uh, switch gears would determine how fast or slow you really want to get this to. With the top speed topping off at around 15 miles per hour, it says. And that's exactly how you turn it on or off. Just by holding this button right here. The light could also be turned off and on. Let me see. Could see that better and then of course the horn so no video is complete or no review video is complete without an actual test run so let me go ahead and charge this a little bit more wait for the weather to dry up and you should see me riding it right, so it is about 7 a.m in the morning here in chicago as promised i was going to show you guys a real live demonstration to like what it feels like in the real world i'm going to be riding it uh, through a straight path and then we're also going to go straight we're also going to go down the slope and up the slope and uh, just see for yourself as to like what you guys think and then give you guys my honest opinion so let's go up. let's go ahead and start this up well first what we're going to do is a straight path That wasn't too bad. Again, uh, managed to get it at 25 miles per hour, and I mean, it's to be expected, right? I'm going down. Uh, I'm going in a straight path. But what I'm about to do now is, as promised, go down the slope and then come back up. So let's go ahead and turn this camera around so you guys can see for yourself what it looks like. And uh, this should be interesting. I wonder if it's going to be able to maintain its speed. So, funny enough, I managed to go 27 miles per hour once, uh, once I was going down. But once I was coming up, it wasn't struggling at all. Um, and surprisingly, even though it didn't go, it didn't uh, go to the usual 25 miles per hour speed. Um, it only increased. It only decreased by one point. So, it goes to show you, like, even with a slope like that, it's. <laughs> It'll still get you up, no problem. Now, I weigh about 135 pounds. Believe it or not, I used to think I weighed more, but I weigh 135. And I guess its maximum capacity is like somewhere around 230. And I'm really surprised by the speed because, I'm not sure if I already mentioned it, but on the manufacturer's website or in the Amazon listing, 
It says it should top off at 15 due to some regulation uh, that's been put in play. Um, I, I don't think I got lucky. Uh, I used to think, at first I thought I got lucky thinking I got like 25 miles per hour um, scooter. But uh, based on other reviews I've seen, they're also getting 25 miles per hour. So you might just get lucky too. Um, what else was I going to say? If you do, um, let me turn the camera around just because there's a better view over here. If you guys do decide on purchasing this, um, my recommendations as far as like riding it, I would start off. I, I would start off by riding it somewhere where it's not busy, it's not um, crowded. So initially, when I first uh, test, uh, when I tested this scooter, I actually ended up taking a long trip back home. Um, back home is about. 15, 16 miles from here in Oakland, Illinois. As a matter of fact, I actually got pulled over there. Um, officer was nice at first. He was uh, yelling and screaming for me to like stop. I ended up stopping and then he told me uh, I can be driving in the middle of the street. I, I, I told him like, hey, I just thought I was doing what it was safest. He told me to just go against uh, opposite traffic, but um, that did not feel safe. So I ended up just going to the sidewalk. Um, but if if I had to give you guys um, an advice, don't go on the busy street. Like regardless, um, you're gonna feel like a fly next to these cars. Like it's not safe. Um, I'd even recommend a helmet. But as far as like the pros and cons, I really don't have no cons for it other than it's really attractive. Um, it might like uh, it might. Uh, lure people to want to steal it, especially if you live in the city. What I would suggest is buying a GPS and a bike lock. You know, I mean, that's pretty standard. And the pros, again, I, I thought I was gonna get a 15 mile per hour scooter. I ended up getting a 25 mile per hour scooter. That was awesome. And at, at first, I felt like it had a lot of power, and, and it does. Don't get me wrong, it does. But given that I already rode it for so long, even though I just got it, now it's, it just feels like it's, it's like I wish it could go faster, but at the same time, I'm not mad that it doesn't because if one tire were to blow out, especially the front, I could see myself being in big trouble. So I'm okay with it. Um, riding it or getting here uh, <laughs> and um, riding it or yeah, riding in the next two bicycles, it felt like I was cheating. I was just zooming right past me. And what else was I gonna say? I'd recommend it, like 100%. I, I actually, I'm gonna upload my um, Snapchat video for you guys to better see what I really thought about this purchase. And if you have any questions, please go ahead and let me know. Follow, subscribe, and I'll leave, I'll leave you guys with my Instagram so you can also follow me on there as well. Thank you.